epilepsy care and research to actually be part of yes and to also encourage other young professionals to be involved in epilepsy as we may be aware that we don't have a lot of neurologists in Africa so we can't really depend on neurologists only to be involved in epilepsy care and we have all these other allied professionals that indeed take part in taking care of patients and we just want them to also be actively involved in YES. And one of the other goals also is to help with challenges of career development through networking. As I had earlier mentioned that it is a large continent and we can use it to our advantage and get to know each other and share ideas and see how we can advance this career development to get people to be involved in epilepsy care. And this can also be done through advocating for scholarships and attachments and also regional training courses. I think one of the things that this pandemic has helped us realize is that we can use technology for a lot of things that we thought we couldn't do with the coming of telemedicine or teleneurology and different conferences that we can hold online, for example, this conference. So we don't need to physically meet so we can have this regional training courses online as well. And we also want to promote diversity and equal representation inside YES and inside the ILE. Or we know that even if we are one continent, we're not one country, we have different cultures, different tribes, but we want to our, promote equal representation in all this and embrace a different diversities on the continent. And to also improve participation in the young epilepsy section and the ILE, including conferences, task forces, webinars, and other online-based activities. So, so far since 2019 to 2021, I've picked on 2019 because this is when we had um, the Africa Epilepsy Congress and we decided to have our election of sub-regional leaders in order for us to use a, a grassroots approach to getting young professionals in Africa involved. So at the African Epilepsy Congress, we had a successful town hall meeting. And it's this is where we had the election of the sub-regional leaders to help with the approach in Africa and we, had um, some of the young professionals registering as YES members. And also we have created a WhatsApp group, not so active at the moment, but it will soon be so that uh, for ease of interaction of, of young professionals in the regions, as YES, Global YES, we have a Slack channel that we use to are uh, interact, but we've noticed there've been some challenges with our young professionals in Africa <clears throat> to log, excuse me, to get on this Slack channel. And uh, with discussion of some young professionals, they, they thought WhatsApp is, is easier. So we could have both the Slack channel and also the WhatsApp group. And also uh, we decided in this COVID times, it's still good to keep up with what's happening uh, in terms of epilepsy care. So we have these epilepsy educational webinars uh, that we started in collaboration with the Eastern Mediterranean region. We thought, uh, so the Eastern Mediterranean region actually has been having those uh, uh, webinars. And so we decided instead of, um, coming up with our African webinars, we could actually uh, support networking through collaboration with the other regions. So these webinars will offer the academics of epilepsy and the updates. And we would like to encourage our young professionals to actually log into these um, webinars. We have our first webinar through our collaboration that is actually going to take place this evening. So. The challenges we have faced so far include low participation and communication barriers, and we hope that these will be overcome very soon. So how does one get involved in YES? So if you're a young professional, you're less than 40, 
or even if you're above 40 and think you can contribute to YES, you need to register as a YES member on the International League Against Epilepsy website. And you also need to join the uh, YES ILE Slack community. So when you register on this um, website, you'll be given a link to join the Slack community where you can get to network with other members of YES, not only in the region, but also globally. You have to actually download this Slack app and so that you get the link and you can join. Also, we'd encourage young professionals to join our WhatsApp group so that we can network and share ideas on what's happening in epilepsy care and research and probably have collaborations within Africa itself. And also uh, join our fortnightly business meetings that are held on Zoom and also this would also be a, an opportunity to join a task force or a project. And these, uh, you learn more about this if you take part in the meetings on Zoom. And of course, as Global Yes, we have weekly webinars on YouTube that would encourage our young professionals to actually log into very rich with knowledge in terms of epilepsy care and research that is going on and even for the past webinars, they're still accessible on the YouTube. So this is actually the webinar in collaboration with the East Mediterranean that is taking place this evening. Uh, you will, can find the link on the ILE website and register for free, a very interesting topics. So I'll just end by thanking my past representative, Dr. Mosa Watila, who, um, one of, who is one of the pioneers who was there for the first meeting in May 2018. And I'd love to also acknowledge the next generation task force of the ILE, the S board and leadership, and not least the EAA organizing committee. Thank you for making this possible. So if anyone has any more questions about YES and how to get involved, you can log into the website that is displayed on the screen. We also have social media groups, YES ILE, on Twitter and on Facebook, or you can send an email. If you have any questions on YES Africa, you can get in touch with me, the email address that is displayed. Thank you. Thanks, Nalucha, for a great overview of YES. Um, she encourage everybody to connect with the various platforms. Yes. I have one question for Mrs. Nalucha. Please go allow ahead. me, Mrs. Yes. President. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nalucha from Zambia. I think we are very happy to see you and uh, we have good collaboration. I think, as I mentioned, the Alliance helped us to establish a lot of collaborations inside Africa. I know uh, <clears throat> a lot of colleagues from Zambia, of course, uh, uh, Anthony Zimba, we lost Anthony Zimba, I think he was the key person. Then through him, I know many people in Zambia and I think we started many collaborations and we, do, we did many papers. Uh, uh, by Facebook or by any other social media uh, platform. I think we have to, to achieve a lot of things, projects, papers. We have to encourage our journals like the African with East Epilepsy Journal. And I thank the, the, the Zambian team because they published already one paper in our uh, paper. Also, I thank Musimbi from uh, uh, Kenya also for her effort also in publishing. Dr. Jacob, uh, and also, I think uh, collaboration, I think, is the key solution for Africa in order to develop uh, the continent. So I want to thank you very much and for, your, if, for all your efforts. Thank, thank you, you Professor Najib. Thank you. Does anybody else have any other questions for Dr. Nanucha? Please feel free to put them in the chat. Dr. Nalucha, I just wanted to confirm with you, um, YES is a volunteer-led organization. Um, 
uh, sorry, what did you say? I had some feedback. I just wanted to ask you, is uh, YES is a volunteer organisation, so um, it's based on people volunteering time to be part of the network? Yes, yes it is. Okay, great. I, th I have a I question as well. Can I, ask a, can I respond? I have a please? question as well. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead, Chantel. Yeah, because we are part of the ELA, the yes now, but despite it is not only people who are doctors, even patients like myself, the way I advocate, I apply to be the East Africa, uh, the East Africa yes, and I, I go through, but I think also the way to remove the gap of knowledge, we need to work together with patients and get the slack training also. And I think that we need to enforce the capacity by coordinating the yes, the yes youth to be part of this channel of the Alliance of Africa. Like the way we can introduce Nalucha to Musimbi. Do you know Musimbi? She is the secretary of the Yes Youth Move and she's very dynamic and she has done many publication. And I think it is best for us to work together and to make this platform very, very, it means compatible. We need to, to exchange knowledge together. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Chantel, for that response. So even on international level, we know that the ILE is a professional body. And when we have the social aspect of patients being involved, we work with the IBE. So I think uh, even on this front in terms of the young epilepsy section. So we could still collaborate just like the, the two organizations do uh, collaborate in all the activities. Thank you, Dr. Nalucha. So Enat, I believe you yeah. had a question. Yeah, yes, I did. Um, uh, question to Dr. Nalucha. Um, it's regarding, uh, yes, um, how does it work with different countries within Africa? So, for example, I'm representing Ethiopia. Um, so do we have, just like the others, um, um, different, you know, uh, uh, just one person from a, a representing a country, or is it like a Pan-African one? You know, how, how does that work? So yes, membership is open to everyone. Like I had mentioned for the regular active members, if you're less than 40, you have even voting rights when you're a member of yes. For those who are above 40, you still have affiliate membership that is open to you. So